Welcome, 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 welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. This is the second video on the BMW M3. Um, and as the title says, I'm starting to cut up the M3. When I mean I'm cutting it up, I'm going to cut some of the exhaust up. So if you don't know anything about M3s, which I really don't, I'm, not, I'm learning as I go along. Obviously, they've got the V8, it's a four litre naturally aspirated out. It does sound really nice. When we bought it, it sounded good, but it's not enough. Those that remember me from the past will remember uh, Reed's Mustang and my eyes focus, which were in both the sound when they insanely loud, loud cars. So, this one isn't quite enough. So, when I was looking on the internet, the things that kept coming up all the time was this thing where they modify the standard rear box, the rear silencer. Um, and then you Google a bit more, and there's a company called Modstock, and I've heard great things about them. Um, so I looked at some of their videos, and whilst I'm not a mechanic, I have a welder, doesn't mean I can weld, I have a grind, doesn't mean I can grind, but you know what I'm like, I'm a have a go, have a go Harry, so I like to have a go. So I took the exhaust off, all the videos online that show you how to take the exhaust off uh, M3, all talk about the E90, which is the four-door saloon, the E92, which is the coupe, but none of them really talk about the E93, which is the convertible, which is what we've got. So I looked at all the videos, I got underneath the car, had a look. There's an additional bracing you have to do. It's not that arduous, but there's a big triangle, a piece of metal you have to undo to take this out. And actually, apart from snapping the two clamps that went into here, which apparently is a common, common issue, so I've ordered some more from my stock, the actual exhaust came off quite easy. It looks like this has already had a tailpipe, tailpipe mod, because the normal tailpipes are flush, and rounded in, but these have been cut and slash cut, and actually, I really like them. So we'll go back to the exhaust mod. So they advertise, and on the YouTube and on the internet, a two-pipe mod, a 2.5 mod, and a four-pipe mod. So we are and ah what we was gonna go for, and in our heads, we was always gonna go for that four-pipe mod. Go big or go home. So I took the exhaust off, struggled with it because it's a weight, only to find some has already modified it. So if you can see here, it's got the mod stock logo on it. It's got, I'm assuming that's the bloke's name, Roy, two pipe mod. And you can see here where mod stock have already cut out a section of the exhaust to carry out the modification. And actually it looks a really nice job, really neat, neat welds. If I can get my welds anywhere nearly as nice as that, I'll be over the moon. So what I'm going to do, just going to grind um, with a cut, cutting disc, cut these sections out here to reveal the inside of the box, pull the wadding out, and then have a look at the perforated pipes. And then we're going to block all those perforations off. So basically this will become a straight pipe. I'm using a, a one mil cutting disc on a four and a half inch grinder. And there's no time like the present to start grinding. But before I start, this is one of the first videos I've ever had where I've got someone actually videoing me and it's quite intimidating having someone here. I normally just do it with me and my selfie stick. And um, I'm going to put on the spot now because she's going to be doing all the editing as well, which is really good. Lauren's behind the camera. You won't see her in front of the camera. She won't do that. So in my, u in my usual style, probably haven't got exactly the right gear. I couldn't find my goggles, so to protect my eyes, I've got some green sunglasses, which came with my green scuba, so they were in the car, and some gloves just to protect my hands. So as I said, I'm gonna cut along here and around those marks. She said 
didn't actually take as long as I, I don't, as long as I thought. I really don't like using grinders. Normally I've always been laying underneath the car and it jumps and hits you and things like that, but that was actually quite painless. So I'll just take these sections out just so you can see what's in here and I can see what's in here for the first time. So that's that one off. Let's hope this one comes out. So this is what I'm saying. This is the stuff that they put inside to um, sound deaden, basically. So I don't know if this is nice to touch, but I'm going to do it with my gloves anyway. If it's anything like fiberglass, then it'll be very itchy. So if you look here now, this is what Mod Stock have done, which is the two pipe mod, and actually looks really good. So these bits here that are covered up would have these holes in, but there's quite a lot of them there and there. So they've wound exhaust banded round and other bits and pieces to uh, block these holes off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block the rest of these holes off. Um, so you'll come back. So I'm gonna use some heat wrap, I'm gonna use some steel, or might use some alley. I've got to see if there's a hole around there. And then just bandage that lot up. I suppose I could, I could weld them up. Right, it's not clever ed editing. It is the next day, maybe two days later, because obviously I've had a haircut, but not even long can edit a haircut. This was already modified by Modstock, and you can see their, their welds, their welds are excellent like that. They'd already done these bits, and actually, it's really, really good. Um, I'm impressed. And this side, these are mine. So I've got some thin steel that I've wrapped all the way around the perforations, and I just tacked them on with the welder. I've then put a bandage around that, and I've also wired it um, tight on there as well. So hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't look anywhere near as good as the Modstock one. Um, and all credit to them, how they managed to do this. I mean, it's so fiddly to get the wire round and get everything round. And as you can see, I've destroyed my hands doing it. So fair play to them. So I've now cleaned up all the metal surfaces around here. Um, so I'm going to pop these back in. And then the next clip will be of the welder going. My welder, how old is my welder? My welder must be 30 years old. It's not in the greatest of condition, but it will stick two bits of metal together. And I won't get it as neat as this, but as long as it sounds, that's good enough for me. With all the excitement of getting it done and cutting my arm to pieces, I almost forgot to put the um, shaggy dog back in. I only went to get me a welding mask and thought, Oh, I better put that in. So now that's put in, I can now fit the two plates on top. Right, it's all welded up. That certainly isn't the prettiest of welding. It's been a long time since I've got the welder out. Can't say I'm proud of that. But I've never been taught. I'll just pick it up and have a go. But it's solid. There's no more holes. I have removed the mod stock um, metal plaque. Because what I don't want is if someone in the future, if I ever sell this, take the exhaust off, look at that welding, and think it's Modstock's work, because their welding was much better. So nothing nothing against them, apart from, I don't want to give them a bad reputation by looking at my welding. But there it is. So now I'm going to polish these tips, flip it over, polish the other side, and then it'll go back on the car. And hopefully, it will sound good. I've not gone mad on it. This, still room for improvement but this is going to be our daily driver so just thought we'll give the back box a bit of a freshen up as you see you'll probably see this bit from um, behind the car so just thought we'll give it a little refreshing up and it's ready to go back on but still the original back box and it's done nearly a hundred thousand miles so it's come up all right ready to go back on and i can't wait to hear what it sounds like 
hopefully it sounds exactly what we want. This video has taken so long to make, life just gets in the way of things. So the exhaust is back on, all the modifications have been done. You can tell how long the video has taken to make because I had long hair when I started the video, then I had it cut and now it's got long again, so now it's almost in my eyes. So as I promised, the E93 exhaust removal is slightly different to the 90 and the 92 and I did promise that would show um, the E93 owners just the slight difference and it is a lot easier than what I've seen on the internet. So I'll just take you underneath and hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. So the E93 has this, it's a big bar and that it's a triangular bar that runs over there to the chassis and over there and that actually stops you from dropping that exhaust down so there is a large bolt under here there and if you can see and I will try and point can I zoom in so just there there's a bolt there and there is one there which allows you to drop this triangular a-frame whatever you want to call it just enough down to get the exhaust off the videos i've seen online show that you take the whole bar off which goes all the way to there i didn't need to do that there was enough room for to drop this bolt and that bolt there just to pull this down enough to get the exhaust off so that's the difference between the 90 the 92 and the 93 it's actually a lot simpler than what i've seen online you don't want to be start taking off all the under trays to get to that last bolt over there you don't need to so that's that on the e93 so i hope that explains the difference on the e93 so i'm now going to pop you down on a standard air and then we're going to do a start up just so you can hear it I'm gonna, there's gonna be another video coming later on with some drive-bys of the exhaust and everything like that. So this, uh, all the way through, this has been the four pipe mod. It's gonna come on a cold start, and cold, I've already started it, just to hear it before I've done the video. And the cold start is ridiculously loud. But then after the cold start, when it drops down, it's actually incredibly quiet. So I'll start it up, we'll go through the cold start, You'll hear it drop down to almost nothing, and then I'll just give it a couple of little light revs. Obviously, I'm not going to go mad with revving it, A, because this is where I live, and B, the engine's going to be cold. Um, but it'll just give you an idea, um, so I'll just pop you back down there before I start rambling on anymore. <laughs> So I hope that gives you some idea of what the car sounds like. Obviously cold start, ridiculously loud. But when that cold start comes off, that's actually quite, it's quite, quite quiet. Um, and then a few little blips, I only took them up to about two and a half, three thousand revs because the engine's cold. But uh, there will be another video come along with some drive-bys when it's a bit warmer and things like that. And actually, from what I've heard so far, absolutely loving the noise of this thing now that four pipe mod for us is absolutely perfect is it too loud i don't think it's too loud at all we've certainly had a lot louder cars so i hope that gives you a bit of an insight of what we've done i've really enjoyed um doing the modification it wasn't hard don't ask me to do the modification for you because my welding is atrocious my welding is sufficient to 
block up any holes, but it's certainly not pretty. But that's the four pipe mod. I really appreciate you if you've got to the end of the video watching it. So thanks a lot. There'll be more videos coming on the M3, more videos coming on other projects as well. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And if you've got any comments, don't comment about how terrible my welding is because I know how terrible the world is. But have a, have a good evening and I'll see you on the next video. See you later. Bye.